steam uh, steam winches. This originally would have been a three drum. The uh, extra drum up there is missing. And uh, pretty pretty much complete other than the drum I had. It had a real McCoy oiler on it, which doesn't say, yeah, it does. In fact, it is, that's right. It's, I think it says right on the oiler, it's got said the real McCoy. Anyway, I didn't realize how much those were worth, so it had a good one when I bought it, and that was, I sold that off of it. I should have kept it. <laughs> I wasn't really into Steam's antiques at the time I first got that, but oh well. This one here had been, it was Steam also, and strange thing about this one, um, the steam cylinders were pulled off. All the steam part portion was pulled off. A D6 engine was put on there, hooked up to belts here. They used this as what was reported to me. They actually this was used for pulling the Minana Riverboat in at Pioneer Park hmm. when they actually pulled it in back in the 60s. Um, nobody down there at the park cared about the fact that that was reported to have been done and that it was anyway so I tried giving it to them initially um, but and, and the big thing was it just held enough cable to, to do the job where they could get long poles at a time before they had to reposition um, and originally it had steam cylinders on it well I got this from cleaning up one piece of property that I was cleaning up for an, out of an estate and then uh, some years later, a bank foreclosure on another place that had some old steam stuff in them over there, and I found the cylinders that actually fit it. Um, they're not going to end up going back to it. I gave those to a friend that wants to make a uh, traction engine, and so he'll use those to make a modern-day, old-style traction engine. Because it, it's been modified too much to care about it as far as original. Um, but it's just kind of interesting that the stuff trades around and uh, cylinders were at another place that was closing out. This one here is the best of my steam winch engines. This one is all complete with the cylinders and all the stuff. Um, and actually some levers and things still move. This is also the biggest, so it's not quite as cool. The neatest thing about this though, this is neat. Um, you can still see part of the writing down here. They might kick the, the brush aside. Samson's Hardware. No way. Yeah, yeah, this was shipped to Samson's Hardware 19... I almost think it had a date on it, I don't remember. But it was, I think it was before 1920. Because they were the dealer for these when they came into the country. They were the ones... Samson's Hardware, even though it's just a... Little and that was part of why a lot of people were broke up and sad when it moved from where it was. It was Samson's Hardware in Fairbanks, Alaska, was the machine shop, the welding shop, the plumbing shop. It wasn't just a hardware store back in the early 1900s. It was everything. That's where you went to get whatever you wanted. If you were you were going to do something, that was where you went to. And then uh, I don't remember when it was near when it was broke, but there was somewhere it was broke. I'm guessing in the 50s, but I don't know for sure. But anyway, then John uh, Johnny Albright bought the store for a dollar because it had way more debts than it did assets because somebody had been mismanaging it. And then he cut it down and uh, joined in with the true value later on. Um, I, don't, I don't, don't think he did it first. The big thing that made the difference. Um, anyway, he just ran it as a good store. And since then, it's changed hands a few times too.